Hi guys, uh, I ain't done one of these for a long while, so I thought I'd stick this up today, so I've got nothing to do. Um, so this is the Dwarfcraft Internet Overdrive. Um, it's obviously not a massively familiar pedal, but um, if you want to check out Dwarfcraft devices, they make some really crazy stuff. Uh, they're in like Eau Claire, Wisconsin, in America. Um, so yeah, basically, it's uh, I think it's a three-stage overdrive. It's either three or four stage. That's your uh, bypass switch, um, and that is a game boost, which either adds the third stage or the fourth stage. I, I don't quite know, um, but yeah, it's it is an overdrive, but I think it's very fuzzy as well, which I like. Um, so I'm doing this quick demo today with that uh, into my orange tiny terror, and I'm doing it with my Fender Jag. Um, so briefly, clean tone with a Jag. Um, that's on neck and bridge together, um, not with a high um, filter on, so without the high filter. Uh, I'll probably keep it mainly on that, but if I change it, I'll give you a shot. Let you know. So yeah, basically, um, that's volume, that's gain. So if we just kick it on, um, this is what you get. So you know, obviously the gain's not massively, um, you know, over the top there, um, but it, there's plenty of it on tap, you know. It's very responsive to your playing. The harder you play it, the, the more it kicks in. Um, yeah, it's a really responsive pedal, so you can go from that. Just controlling it with your, your picking and your, your you know your left hand. Um, it does respond really well to rolling it back and cleaning it up. Um, so volume on the guitar is probably about you know a third to half somewhere like that. It just adds a bit more clarity to your clean tone. Uh, and then if you try like little roll tricks where you roll the guitar's volume back up. You can get some really nice effects if you go for that. So yeah, um, that's your, your basic overdrive, um, I'll bring the guitar back up to full, and then we'll, uh, we'll kick in the game boost, so uh, let's think of something. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, it, it, the thing I like is how responsive it is. I'm not a massive blues player or anything like that, but you, there's some really good usable blues tones in there, especially for players that like to use the volume control a lot, which a lot of blues players do to get the dynamics. Um, Cheers.